Good afternoon, everybody. In this uh, example or lecture, I'm going to show you how we use for loops in programming in C Sharp. We have a couple things. We have one button that just when you click on it, it adds things to this list box, just different examples of a for loop. And then when we click on this, it draws things on the screen using the for loop again. So the first part is just double click on that and then we want to just put a simple loop, just loop loops from 1 to 20 and add them to the list box. So with a for loop you define an integer like a counter. Okay, so I'm going to say counter we define a counter as an integer. Now with a for loop Typically, you use integers. You don't use doubles, okay? Because you want to count, you like counting, okay? And you use whole numbers. Um, the for loop has three parts. So you say for, like a while loop, and it has three parts. The first part is your starting point, which is, we say counter equal to one, if we want to start from one. Then semicolon, and then your ending part, the ending point. And then you say, for example, counter is less than or equal to, let's say, 10 for now, just so it all appears on the list, on the screen. And then how much do you want to add every time you repeat this loop, your increments? Typically, you, found something, you find something like this, counter plus plus. Typically. What does that mean, plus plus? It means every time, add one to count. And then you have a beginning and an ending for a loop. So my loop goes from 1 to 10. And every time I'm adding how much? I'm adding 1 to it. Okay. All right. Now what we want to do, we want to... Uh, add this counter to the list box. So the way to add it to the list box, we have list box one, the name of the list box that we have on the form, dot items dot add. And then we just simply put the name of the variable which is counter. All right, so now all this does, it goes from 1 to 10, and then you add the list to the counter. Now, if we keep it like this, every time you add to the list, you add to the list, so the list keeps growing, and then you will get repeated numbers. So instead of doing that, we want to clear the list every time before we add the list, uh, we add the number to the list. So we say list box one dot items again, dot clear, okay? So we clear the list first, then we add these numbers to the list. At the end, I'm just going to put one variable that says, like one item that says done. Okay? In the list box, we'll add one item that says done. All right? Now let's go ahead and run it. When I click on this, we get 10 items from 1 to 10, and then at the end we have the keyword done. You click on it again, it cleared the list first, then you add the items again. All right? All right, so this was a simple for loop from 1 to 10, and every time we add 1 to counter. What if we want to add more, other, something other than 1 to counter? What we can do, I can change this part here, the counter plus plus. So I'm going to comment this, control copy, and then control V, so you see a previous example. So I'm just going to comment this, so you'll see the previous thing that we did. And instead of this, I'm going to say counter equal counter plus three. All right? So the first time it's equal to 1, second time we add to it how much? 
three. So the first time in one will appear in the list box, the next time four, seven, ten, and then stop. Why ten stops? Because I have less than or equal. I'll show you both ways. If I run it and I hit the add, one, four, seven, and ten. But if I go back and change this, instead of less than or equal, just less than 10, does the 10 appear on the screen or not? Let's see. Add, 10 did not appear on the screen. Why? Because I say it is less than 10. If it was equal, then it will appear on the screen. Okay, so those are the two type of questions. So you can change this, you can change this. Another question that I want, another example I want to show you is that what if you want to decrement the value? Yeah, and you want to list the numbers from 10 or from 20 to 1. All right? So how do you do this type of a question looping? Again, I'm going to copy this, control copy, and then do it here and paste it. So you've seen the different example we've done. And then here, instead of starting from 1, I'm going to start from a higher number. Let's say I'm going to start from 20. But if I leave it like that, if I run it, do you think anything will happen in the, anything shows up in the loop? What, is, what do we start with? 20. Type. Is 20 less than 10? No. Let's see what happens. Done. So nothing happens inside the loop. If you notice, done is here. This is the last piece. Allah, you can put it in debug and show you, but for the sake of time, I'm not going to do that. Type Allah. So we start from 20, and I said, okay, I want to decrement the value. How do you decrement the value, decrease the value? Instead of counter equal counter plus 3, for example, I can say minus 2. All right? And then here, I have every time I'm subtracting. When you're subtracting, you have to change your condition. Okay, so you keep doing this as long as, because you're decreasing. As long as this condition is greater than something, not less than something. So here I say, as long as it is greater than or equal to, let's say, 2. So I start 20 keep looping as long as this counter greater than 2 and every time I'm subtracting now so first time 20 second time subtract 2 becomes what 18 16 until what until this becomes 2 so now let's run it and see what happens you'll see that 20 18 16 at the end 2 and then we're done all right so those are different examples of a for loop. Of course, you can do more within the for loop. Yeah, and here we're just doing counter. What if you want to display, for the square of a number? Tell me your square. Yeah, and two square is four. Four square is sixteen, right? What if you wanted to display that instead of just the counter? You can do many things in here. You can say, for example, int square equal counter times counter okay then here what do I display I can do the string format I'm gonna do that example so you can see you no know, muscle you can say two square equal this three square equal this so you can see the result okay so I'm gonna format a message which is string message equal uh, equal uh, string dot format and then here we will put the output for example we say uh, here we will put the first value uh, which is zero square equal and then we will put the second value which is one and then what do we put in here one is what what is zero zero is my counter and then what is one? One is my square. Okay.
All right. Time. Now what happens? What do we add here? We add the message only. So what happens in my program? Every time I'm adding to the list, I'm calculating this square value, and then I display zero, which is the counter, equal square, which is my equation. Now look what happens in my program. If I run it, bit line, the, of course, let me change the, uh, let me change this here, make it a little bit bigger, and make it, this is bigger, a little bit here, and then let's see what happens now. If I, instead of that, bit line, the 220 square equal 400, 18 square equal 320, and so forth until the last one. You got the idea? So not only just for counting, you can do calculations with these numbers. If you go back in here, you see we've done some calculation to this number. Yani you take the value and do some calculation with it, and then you can display the result. All right? So we're done with this first part. Um, I'm going to stop this part, and then we'll continue with the next one.